All right, I'm feeling like a rat. So we're starting the game on canal here. I'm feeling confident about this game, okay? You know what I'm doing? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm pulling out the shotgun, okay? I don't know if I'll go the whole game with only shotguns. We'll have to see. If this guy's like nasty, he's like champ or something. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing only shotguns. I'm gonna need to actually shoot back a little bit. Although if I'm a little confident and I'm up on rounds, I might whip out the uh, the shotguns a little. We are seeing an IQ ban. Okay, lawyer. I'm gonna go ahead and ban Jackal. Uh, no shields, by the way. Clash, Blitz, Conti, etc. I'm gonna go ahead and also ban Captain. Nah, cause I'm gonna be aggressive close range. So, what I'm gonna have to worry about in this map is shotguns. Like, I'm gonna be running shotguns, but I also have to worry about shotguns. Canal's a very close quarter map. Ella, let's go. Perfect, bro. I've been seeing all day today. If I could ban two operators in these 1v1s, it would be Capkin and it would be Ella. And I took out Capkin and he took out Ella. Perfect. I don't agree with his IQ ban. Uh, but I'm not going to play IQ. And if I wanted to play the G8 or something, I would quite literally bring out Amaru with uh, three flashes, the SMG 11 and the G8. Um, but nevertheless, I'm running shotguns. We are going to run the Lion Shotty. So I would pick Twitch. Which actually isn't a bad option. Uh, you may think that Twitch is a little bit useless in a 1v1 scenario. At least in like this environment. Um, and that's sort of true. Her utility at first glance is not really going to bring much. Considering the fact that like uh, just one person on the other team. It's not much utility to clear. You're not trying to get the wall open. You're probably not going to try to pop any mirrors. Stuff like that. Although, what's important to note is that she has one regular drone. And then two Twitch drones. So you're actually going to have an extra drone. Whereas yeah, me as Lion, I only have the one I spawn with. And then... Uh, so uh, that is important to note with Twitch. You want an extra drone? Run Twitch. Personally, uh, I don't care because I already know where I'm going. And that is straight into pillbox. See, it's already reinforced. There's no Capkin. There's no Ella. So I'm not going to be worried about traps besides maybe Lesion. See, the door is closed. So I'm going to drone out really quickly. And then I'm basically just going to rush the site. Oh, he's still reinforcing. Hmm, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's think about this. I don't like the... What I could do. It's gonna take a little bit of extra time, but I feel as if this is going to be worth it. He's not on that camp. Wow, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I gotta give it to him, bro. He was in a nice spot. I left him on one HP. If my uh, crosshair placement was a little bit better, I probably would have killed him. Maybe I should have just rushed uh, pillbox like I wanted to. Uh, he's gonna go downstairs now. That same strategy could work. I think I need to like commit to the rush if I'm gonna. I need to be like hyper. And I wasn't hyper aggressive last round. I'll try it one more time. Just because I'm very confident in my defense on this map, I'm willing to take a few risks on attack. That could come to bite me. I could end up losing this. Um, we'll see. I think I got it in the bag. So, so let's see what he's going to do. Depend on where he's playing. The thing is, is I, what, what kind of sucks is I have to Gon 6, door open, and I also have to Lion Scan, and then I also have to shoot him. So it's like, I can't, I can only rush so fast. So I can only pull out the gun six, shoot it, put it away, pull out my gun, lion scan, have the lion scan go down and bring my gun back up in such a short amount of time. Five seconds to go. It's still reinforcing though. If you keep reinforcing, it's going to be free. Your mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. Especially because he doesn't have any utility, not even a barbed wire. Let's see what he's doing. Uh, all right, the shotgun worked out a little bit better there and I was at well, I guess I un-ADS at the end, but 
I was pre ADSing it so that way I didn't leave him on one HP. Shotgun wasn't expecting that. Yeah, so now now is when I stop running the shotgun. Now I go back to Osa. Huh. Uh, one thing to note is he's also Legion. I can't push that door because I just droned it and I also pushed it last round, so he's gonna expect that. And I don't want to push the stairs too much, only because, or at least not the main stairs, because Five seconds to insertion. Uh, it's going to be too easily countered. So I'm probably going to push yellow. You've maybe a scuba a window. Make your way to its location and defuse it. We're gonna hope he doesn't peek that window. This is a little bit risky. So we're looking for the place that has the least amount of lesion mines. Remember, he only has nine of them and they recharge over time. So wherever he started placing them is what he's most worried about. So far, I'm not seeing anything over here. That's okay. My uh, my aim there just kind of saved me. Did not have won that. Did not have won that. I was hoping that my OC shield would have broke the window too, but I forgot. For some, sometimes on the windows you have to like actually hold it there for a little bit longer. Um, anyways, I'm on defense now, so let me actually show you guys something crazy about Malusi shotgun. Pretty bear with me for a second here. Lucy shotgun. It literally busted. Watch this. Protect the bombs. I was doing this in rank before. Here's the setup. Play canal. The Lucy shotgun. Reinforce box like this. You want to reinforce the wall to my right. Wall here. Wall on my left. And then wall directly on my left. Then I want to make feet holes. So something like that. And then you want like one here so you can shoot the air jab off. The banshee here. The banshee, probably bridge. Ten seconds. And then you're gonna want to play red stairs. Now the only thing that does suck about this right now is that I am playing solo. So I don't have anyone to watch my green stairs. I'm actually tempted to rotate this off because he's probably not gonna open the wall. And I'm gonna go put it green because I don't want to get crouch walked on. I don't care if you can shoot it easily, I just want it for audio. And then with this, you're going to play top red. Now, preferably, you'd also have a shield and ADSs. Play with what we got. I also like to open the hatch because it forces them from being able to wide swing you to having to peek closer so you do more damage. Nope, not quite GG yet. Very nice. What did I tell you, bro? The Lucy shotgun. Shotguns are so cheese on this map, man. They're so cheese. All right, yo. Oh, I wonder if I can sight fake him, bro. Oh, uh, do you guys think I could sight fake him? I'm gonna try, bro. I'm gonna try. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm sight faking. A hundred percent. This is not how you're supposed to sight fake. You're supposed to do it in reverse order. I'm going to go over here and act like I'm reinforcing hatches. We're going to hope to God that we can shoot his drone early. If he just sees that I'm playing over here, he should think the site's downstairs. This is incredibly risky. Normally, you're supposed to go like Coast Guard, like literally the site I'm in right now, and then act as if you're third floor, the site that I just won not supposed to do it in reverse order which is what i'm doing so the chances of this failing are like actually extremely high oh but he sees me getting hatches this is good he saw me getting hatches and his drone's on this side of the map which is really good so he probably thinks that i'm basement which is very good he only has one more drone uh so this is going to be pretty easy to convince him unlikely he'll use his drone for the east side of the map so honestly i'm going to try to play passive not kill him. I want him to figure it out. I think he's above me. I'm gonna take pop shots, but I don't want to kill him. I want him to figure that out. Let's 
trying to hide. I, I'll let him have sight. <laughs> Not actually the sight. I'll just rotate back. This alone probably is going to waste me an entire. Doesn't even know if top floor is not. Gotta clear top floor and then clear the basement. Realize the site's not there and then figure out where site actually is. I wanna get on cams, but I don't want him to hear me. I'm getting bored. I can't lie. Now he thinks it's downstairs still. I know he's right below me. I wanna see if I can just sneak by him and go back to site. Op 4 found a bomb. You must defend it. Shit, he found the bomb. Ah. Oh my god. Yo, he saw through my sight okay, fake though. He saw right. through my sight fake. I don't know how my C4 didn't kill him, bro. Bomb Alright. He saw through my sight fake. I'll give him that. I thought for sure he was underneath me, bro. Wow. All right. That was fun. I'm going to guess that he's probably gold. That's my guess. Probably gold. His mechanical skill doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, like he's got decent game sense. He saw through the sight fake. So I'm guessing that he's probably gold. Uh, I'm going to guess gold two. Let's go ask him. Hey man, what's going on? Yo, what's up, man? GGs, bro. GGs. So, GGs. how'd you see through my sight fake there? Uh, I heard your footsteps, but uh, after droning the downstairs portion, I didn't see sight at all. And mm -hmm. without seeing sight down there, you reinforce the hatches, which kind of made me think that oh, he's just you know preparing for an Amaru up the hatch. And then whenever I went through the other two sight, like the other site, I forget what it's called. I think it's Coast Guard and something else. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I didn't see anything up there. So I was like, oh, okay. Uh, it's got to be this other site since he already went upstairs. So I just hurried up, ran over there, and I heard, heard your footsteps shuffling. I'm assuming you were on the very top of the stairs. Yeah, Like I was. Uh, for that little run out. Yep, I was. Yeah, I heard your footsteps shuffle. And I was like, I'm going to keep watching behind me in case he decides to get any bright ideas and swing me. You decided not to swing me the entire time I was looking back. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for a plant. I went for yeah. the plant, and then I heard your little footsteps behind me, and I was like, ah, oh, damn, damn, damn. Am I going to get this hop in time? Is he going to nitro me? Is he going to is he gonna wallbang me? What, what's <laughs> going on? And sure enough, bo both of those things happened, nitro and the wallbang. <laughs> your nitro put me to 26 health. Oh, really? I thought it, yeah. I thought it didn't even do damage to you. That's good. It, it put me to 26 health, and I was like, oh, hell. I, so I tried to swing the, I tried to swing around the area you threw the nitro to try to catch you pushing in, and you didn't push in. You went for the wall bang. I was like, oh damn. Yeah. It, it was a good experience. And it showed me how much of a difference there is between uh, champ and high level diamond players versus uh, usually, well, first season on PC gold, uh, solo queued. Wait. Oh wait. Was I not supposed to say that? Well, no, it's fine. It? No, I already guessed. Okay. I, I, I said it on recording earlier. I, I was guessing that you were probably uh, gold too. Okay. Uh, I maxed out. So far on PC, I've maxed out at gold too. Uh, mm -hmm. But I solo queued, and I there were games where I didn't pull my weight, and there were games where I was just fragging the enemy team, and my teammates couldn't get more than two kills. Right. And I was just like, well, damn, you know, that sucks. But, oh, well, it is what it is. I knew the risk going in solo queuing. I switched over from PS4 to PC exactly three months ago today. Oh, nice. And PS4, I capped out at P1, so. Got you. Okay. Yeah, so you probably just need to learn, like, the mechanics of PC, and then you'll be back up there is my guess. Yeah, because I've got the game knowledge and all. It's just the, like, working on my flicks, uh, Muscle memory for PC, just stuff like that. Yeah, that all comes with time, man. You just switch, so you'll get that eventually. But uh, yeah, appreciate you playing, man. GG's, that was a lot of fun. Yes, sir. All right, man. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, you too. All right, here we go. A little bit of a coastline action. I don't, I don't do coastline that much in these videos, so I decided, you know what, let's do coastline. Because I always end up picking like Oregon 
or like clubhouse oregon's like the main one oregon and then clubhouse then maybe like uh what's the other one that i usually pick villa villa club and oregon pushing it up getting out the osa ban smart very smart i'm gonna go ahead and ban probably jackal he's probably gonna end up banning either thunderbird doc thorn that is my guess on his ban personally i'm gonna ban capkin because every time i'm in a 1v1 i always go against capkin and also let me also tell him one rule i forgot to mention no shields of any kind okay uh that just leaves my operators up so i'm actually not that worried about mira i did not plan on playing her Although she is pretty strong in 1v1s, I can't lie. I like, I do pick her sometimes in 1v1s just because she's fun. Uh, it, li it like makes holding down the site a lot easier. We are going to start on attack and I'm probably going to go sledge. I've got him in another Discord call. You guys will have to let me know, like, would it be more entertaining for you guys if I was in the Discord call with them and like we were kind of talking as we're 1v1ing or would it be better if it was just like the way that it is now? Yeah, you guys gotta let me know. Because I'm not really sure what you guys would rather see. But this time around, we're not going to be in the same Discord. Just to keep things the same. Also, my sense feels very slow. That is not good. Alright, so what I've done is waste 45 seconds outside not looking for the bomb. Which is not the way that you're supposed to play the game. So now I've got to spend my precious action phase time for the bomb, bomb has been figured he's gonna be here and he's malusi okay so i'm gonna have to probably nade those malusis unless i can just nade him see if i can get like a cheeky wall bang on him where are his malusis that's gonna be important to figure out no rotate, that's good to know. There's no Banshee on the door, which is also good to know. We see him on cams here, so this might actually... I'm gonna rotate towards the bomb. And he did. Wow, he's really lighting me up there, man. Close left. Patience is the key. All you need is patience. He had no idea I was in there. Holding the, the smallest little pixel peak. Just waiting. Just waiting. That's all I gotta do. He should have brought impact grenades. If I were him, I would have brought impact grenades and made rotates there. I'm not sure if he, uh, if, if he actually had them or not. I don't remember seeing a rotate by the bar. That's what I would have done personally. But Lucy is a great operator to pick in 1BX situations. You guys know that. I say this in all the 1BX videos. But... Impact grenades are a huge thing as well to bring when you're actually in the 1v1. Because you need that ability to make rotates and actually maneuver around the site. He could have played that a lot differently if he had rotates. So I really took advantage of the fact that the site wasn't set up to win that round. But uh, it might not always work out that way. It depends on the utility placement. Like if he had a Banshee close on the door uh, and rotates, there's no way I was pushing that. So with all that said... Let's move in and try to find where he's at. He's not billards this time. His banshee placements were not that good last round either. Looks like he's penthouse. And notice he had one for cool vibes, but the one for cool vibes was like right here or something, which is like kind of pointless because at that point they're already top of the stairs. Um, so I found that interesting. So, um, very curious to see what his rank is. Grab the drone. Oh, never mind. I didn't leave it outside. All right, so Rooney this time. But Rooney's a great operator, man. And since I only have one drone left, I'm not actually going to push that.
because I'm not going to be able to get through that door without wasting a nade or one of my drones. I don't want to waste a drone. So I'm going to assume that he's still there and take advantage of that by rushing here. Now, if he knows I'm pushing this and he plays this corner, we might actually be able to bait him into drone holding him. Depends on where he plays. Um... So the wall is soft, so I don't have to worry about a runes there. And I'm big window. The one in the hatch. Okay, perfect. So none of his runes really matter to me now. I'm a little bit worried about him roaming now. I think he'll probably be. Okay. Check this out. Perfect bait. Perfect bait. I knew, okay, so I naded close. So if he was gonna push up to be aggressive, he would have died to the nade. Since he didn't push up and that nade didn't kill him, I had figured that he was going to try to rotate around me. Uh, so I, I hit the alt walk and kind of waited for him. So that was a good play by me. Um, that was a pretty predictable play. Now, you may think that like him being predictable indicates that he is a low rank, but it's actually the opposite. When you see people who are super unpredictable, uh, they're normally in the lower ranks, generally speaking, because... Low ranking players don't have as good of an understanding of how the map should be pushed or should be held. And for that reason, they're in unpredictable spots, right? Now, if you have like a pro league player, for example, they know exactly how to push the site. They know exactly how to hold the site. So you'll see them play a little bit more predictably, which can actually work against them sometimes. So by him being a little bit predict predictable there, I'm going to say that he's definitely above gold so far, I want to say. I'm... I'm putting him in the high gold to plat range right now. That's what I'm guessing. But still have a few more rounds. Honestly, this is not that much to like try and guess what his rank is off of. This is hard. Like just a 1v1, this is hard. You must locate and defuse the bomb. He's actually checking defaults this time, which is good. I haven't seen him get on cams besides right there. Pushed hookah both times now, so I'm a little bit wary about this. Because now I'm starting to fall into a predictable pattern. Okay. He's below me. Does that mean the site's blue bar or the site's kitchen? The site's kitchen, I'm rushing service. Bomb has been located. Now where are the LM mines? That's going to be important to identify. I don't want to get caught off hard by an Ella mine. I don't see any for pushing this. Low key, the site looks clear. Need to find him before I push though. Don't want any surprises. Where's the app, bro? You located a bomb. Gotta be near Koi. Ah, oh, bro, this guy's elusive. I'm not sure what he was doing there. He was playing a lot more passive than I thought. I could have stuck that plant. I heard him run. I heard him initially sprint in the bathroom. And I thought that he like, started to stop sprinting and start walking forwards towards me. But he had actually crouched. That kind of threw me off there. But uh, interesting play. He was like... Dude, that guy was elusive that round, bro. Protect the bomb. This is fun, man, though. I really enjoy like uh, making these style of videos, to be honest with you. Hold on, I'll, I'll finish that thought. Let me explain why that Malusi placement was bad. 
So if you see the radius here, the radius ends right here. So we'll kind of shoot there to make a marker. Obviously, no one's going to be walking into this, and you rarely see people vault over that. So you'd actually want to place Bomb it either like here or here. And the reason for that is the marker now extended from here to here, right? Uh, it seems super obvious when you look at it like that, but you'll be like actually yeah, shocked at the amount of people that just placed them loose is wrong. Same with stuff like this. I'll place it here, but you could just come here and then shoot it from safety. So it's better to place it in an angle where they have to look away from where they're peeking. So for example, if they're coming up the stairs to attack here, they're most likely going to get peeked from here or the rotate here. So they have to take their eyes off of that and look here, which makes them vulnerable. A lot of people don't play Malusi properly. Um, so I just thought I'd show you cool little tricks there. I'm out of time now, so. Check deep. I don't want to pay attention to two or two or three cans. Maybe this can. I have both staircases upstairs covered. I'm kitchen right now, droning. Or that might be blue bar. I don't think he even knows where the site is just yet. Shoot that drone. You know what? He's probably droning right here. I mean, he he is droning right there. Got an LMG, so I'm gonna take a closer range gunfight. His fire rate's not as high as mine. Oh shit! I'm dead. <laughs> wow um that was a very nice try by him um sorta so that malusi placement that i talked about before literally saved me right there uh he was a little bit slow to react to it and shoot to it but that malusi placement made it from where he's not looking towards me he's looking away from me so that really helped me get the kill there now as for what his rank is um i'm gonna say he's probably I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a range he's either gold to plat okay the specific rank i'm gonna go with probably gold two Let's see you know what actually we're just gonna ask him we're gonna ask him what his rank is L let's go for a post game interview here gentlemen hey man yo ggs man ggs GG, dude. so man, i'm i'm so i'm so pressed i threw the nade expecting you to run rookie mistake oh no 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 you're good i, I think what you messed up there was uh you you didn't cook the grenade long enough if, if you cooked it long enough mm. i would have died for sure yeah um okay so i the whole point of this is i'm trying to guess what your rank is so i estimated mm. that you're between gold and plat and i was saying that you're possibly gold two as what your rank is so so what rank are you currently i'm silver two right now oh boy so i was really wrong okay yeah no i most of the people that I talk to say that I shouldn't, but it's it's half the reason is because I play with a bunch of friends who don't actually play the game. Right. That's fair enough. I mean, but, yeah. I thought you were better than Silver 2. So mm. I'll give you that at least. <laughs> I, I thought you were <laughs> at least gold plat. the roof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, GG's. I appreciate you playing. Yeah, GG, dude. All right. So uh, I got it wrong a little bit. He was actually Silver 2, not Gold 2. Um... So honestly, I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, he did get sweeped. He did get 4 0 but he played a little bit better than I expected him to in terms of some of the things he was doing, like nading before he pushed it up the stairs. Like that's not something that you generally see in a silver player. So I do think that uh, if he wanted to, he could probably improve his rank a little bit there. Um, but GG's to him. I really appreciate you coming out. And what I was saying in the last games, I really like these videos where I can actually play with my community. So if you guys are interested in being in one of these styles of videos, make sure you guys check out my Discord server with the link in the description. Completely free to join. I've got a bunch of people in here right now. I'll show you. We're just sitting in here. We're vibing. We're waiting for people to, uh, to 1v1 me. So if you guys want to be a part of this, it's completely free in the description. Check it out. Would appreciate that. All right. Here we go. Switching it up once again. 
Green Ash Chalet. I like Chalet. So we're playing it. Simple as that. So I am once again on attack. I'm letting everybody start on defense. I'm a nice guy. Go through the bands really quickly. Let me once again tell him no shields such as Clash, Monty. It's, it's, uh, that way it's just fair. Uh, well, maybe not even so much, so much fair, just fun. Nobody wants to play against shields, man. Come on. Nobody wants to be in a 1v1 and just walk towards a clash. It's no fun. Even if you win. Like, man, that wasn't, that wasn't satisfying. I killed a guy with a shield. I'm going to ban Capkin once again, dude. I swear to God, every time I record one of these videos, you guys bring Capkin. Capkin is literally my weakness, man. Like, I'm, I'm good for checking for the traps or whatever. Like, I'm able to do it, obviously, but I just like tunnel vision sometimes in the 1v1s and it throws me off. There it is. There's the counter ban. Everyone's always counter banning Thorn. Listen, if you guys watched enough of these videos, you know that the real counter ban is Malusi, right? Really trying to counter ban me and Malusi. Malusi and 1vx's is just too strong. Nevertheless, we are starting on attack. I'm gonna once again bring Sludge. Sludge is such a versatile operator, man. I love Sludge, honestly. All right, let's figure out where he's at. The site will also indicate or help indicate rank a little bit downstairs as I expected. So the things I'm going to be looking for to try to identify like what rank he may be is things like where he places his rotates, which walls he chooses to reinforce, not reinforce, uh, where he places things like his banshees or legion mines, whatever it may be. So far, he's not doing much of anything. I think he's setting up one. So he's leaving himself a little bit vulnerable. Snowmobile side. So I might take advantage of that. I think I should go fast because he's still placing utility. I don't want to push back because he set that up too much. Make this one up, chat. Okay, there goes a Banshee. He's probably going to swing long haul, so we're going to nade that and then push down. Nice. That was actually a good strategy by him. That's actually something that I do a lot. You impact grenade first before you peek because it makes your whole screen shake. So it's something that I try to do sometimes. I'll throw an impact grenade near someone, their whole screen shakes, there's debris everywhere they can't see, and then you swing. Um, it's actually pretty smart. So that was the nice play by him. I did kill him before he killed me, but nevertheless, the actual strategy he employed there was uh, pretty smart. So that was, uh, that was nice. He definitely left himself a little bit thin though towards the front side. We saw that he reinforced like the four walls in the back. I think he had like a banshee there. Um, you know, he had all his utility front side and it was like 10 seconds left in the prep phase and he hadn't even started reinforcing front or anything. One thing I do want to note though is I'm pretty sure that when I naded here, I destroyed something. Now it was either the cam or it was a banshee. I think it might've been the cam, but if it was a banshee, that's a weird spot for a cam. All right, sorry, uh, a banshee. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do my certified strat. Certified canine office strap. That strat entails throwing a drone here and simply waiting. Not work did not work he did not work but this might actually work in my favor here it's not he's flanking me is he i don't know
Ooh, nice shot. That was a nice bait by him. He threw the C4 on the wall and then pushed. I knew what he was doing. I just missed my shots. Honestly, uh, that was nice crosshair placement by him. Bad crosshair placement by me. Did it help that my gun shoots really slow and his shoots really fast as well? That would have been a, an SMG 11 moment. Um, if Fledge still had one. All good though. Um, we will actually go Osa this. He is playing like... Uh, the Roni, which shoots really fast. So I need to like counter that with the gun that also shoots really fast. Like if you guys remember the game on Coastline, uh, if that's the order I showed it in, uh, where I 4 that guy, um, I had called that he had an LMG and that his gun shot, like shot slower than mine. So I needed to get closer to him. That way it's easier for me to get a pull on him, you know? His gun will be better at long range. Mine will be better at close range. I once again did not check for sight. Eating away at my total available time. Can I assume that he's back downstairs. The Jaeger this time. It's actually good that I switched off Sledge. So where is he at? Oh. Wow. Nice. Uh, how did he know I was there? What? Okay. Uh, Alright. My bad. I guess. I was like, I was thinking in the back of my head, um, I wonder where he is right now. I hope I don't die on drone. And then I, and then I told myself you're outside and you didn't open anything. Protect the bombs. Some heals and I got the, not to love. That was interesting though. I have no clue how he knew I was there. Um, maybe he was already in fireplace and heard me hop on drones. I don't know. That was incredibly strange. Maybe I didn't shoot default cam. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I forget. All right, I'm gonna make a medical station out of this room. Put two here, and I'm gonna put one in office. Like he's more likely to take office, so I don't want to stack many heals here. Where he's underneath, I can't tell yet. Nice drone placement. Nice shot. Damn, bro. All friendlies were eliminated. His crosshair placement is good. This guy's good, chat. This guy's good. I'm getting smoked. Wow, I just realized I'm losing 1 3. Damn, this guy's nasty. I didn't realize I was losing. All right, we got to lock it in. What do we got to do here? I got to go Malusi. I think I got to go Malusi. I didn't realize I was losing, to be honest. Um, I think of what rank this guy'd be. This guy's got to be like diamond, right? I'm assuming that he's at least diamond. There's no way this guy's. I never seen Platts hit uh, his shots like that. I hate placing Malusis here. I think they're too easy for them to shoot. Alrighty. To be fair, one of these rounds, like, that wasn't even my fault when I died, bro. I got knifed when I was on cams outside. I don't even know how he knew I was there. That was wild. He's already in. Damn. GG. He fucking destroyed me, guys. This guy's a nasty, bro. Nah, this guy's just good. Damn, I just missed my shots at the end too. This guy literally obliterated me, bro. Um, this guy's got to be Diamond Champ, bro. Has to be. I'm definitely going to say he's within the range of Diamond to Champ uh, for a specific rank. 
she's just gonna be hard bro i got smoked i mean th this guy had this guy has so much intel he was knifing me outside chat i don't even know like not even i could do that i'm gonna guess that he's gotta be probably diamond one that's what I'm, that's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna join the discord back and ask him let's see what he has to say yo yo what's up jeez man jeez so i was guessing that your mm -hmm. rank is probably around uh diamond mm -hmm. diamond one what, you, what, what is it is that right uh champion damn damn what champ are you yeah. now uh i'm diamond one uh right now but like a champ this season you had champ this season what champ were you uh what number? 700, I guess. Nice, nice, nice. So you're diamond one right now, though? Mm-hmm. Damn. So I sort of guessed it right. I guess what you are now. But yeah. Man, GG's. How did you know I was outside when you knifed me? <laughs> did I leave default up? <laughs> you, you, nah, you did it last, like, uh, first round, I guess. Mm hmm. I did it first so round? I just tried it. Yeah. I was canine first round. So I just guess it. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, well. Yeah. Uh, GG's, man. I appreciate you playing. GG's. I got the bands. Ace band. All right. That is really silly to think my ass will be on a hard breach here. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to take out Jackal because all my homies hate Jackal. All right. Got to throw in the, the no shields rule. So all my homies hate shields. We also hate Capkin. So I'm going to ban him once again. Every map I'm banning him. Can't take it. And Ella. I swear to God, once they add two bands, if they ever do add it, Ella and Capkin in every one of these videos. I swear to God. He's going to ban what? Thorn? Mute. What? All right. Um, I don't know about those bands, man. I, I definitely was not going to play mute. It's kind of smart, though, because you wouldn't really be able to drone because you only have two drones. So if your drones end up getting muted, you're kind of screwed. But at the same time, I'm not going to play mute or ace, man. I might just play Osa and walk around. Let's do that. This is pretty good for these 1v1s to start off as, to be honest, because you can kind of just walk around and kind of see how they're going to play, how aggro they're going to be, how passive they're going to be, stuff like that. You can kind of sit there behind the safety of your shield. Your drone to locate um, it's like borderline against my own rule of like saying no shields, but like, I don't know. It's not because she has a gun. Clash doesn't count. Clash is... At least you can shoot Osa, okay? At least you can shoot her. At least you can blow her up or something. So let's take our 20 seconds remaining to find out where the hell he is at. Guessing he's going to be aviator. So let's see. I think he's reinforced yet. Don't see the bomb. So he's got to be the trophy or kitchen. My guess is probably trophy. People don't often go kitchen first round. That would be like kind of weird. So, I'm going to assume that he's trophy. I'm going to make my way over there and then finish droning. If he's not, it's not the end of the world. I'll just push right below what I was going to push anyways. All right. Four eliminated. Couldn't even finish my sentence. Um, I was in the middle of formulating how he's going to attack, and, and he's he's dead. We need to so I guess I need bomb. to be very careful about spawn peaks this round, huh? This game. That's, that's good to know. It's always good to look for spawn peaks, but... Really important to keep an eye out when you're against someone who clearly likes to spawn peak. So he still is not going to go A B, which means he probably went back trophy again. Honestly, if I were him in that situation, I would have went a third site. The reason I would have done that is because if I was spawn peeking, which actually he might have, if I'm spawn peeking and doing an aggressive play that may or may not work, I want to lock in the win on a third site. That way I have access to AV and Trophy, the good sites, um, you know, for the other two rounds. Unfortunately for him, his play didn't work out, though. Alright, it sounds like he's Thunderbird with the Spaz. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say he's Thunderbird with the Spaz. You know what I probably could do? He's got a shotgun and a gun that kind of sucks. I feel to just in here. He's indeed Thunderbird with the spaz.
What's this man doing? real I'm trying to track what he's doing where he's playing patience is key here got a shotgun we don't want to do anything crazy All right, um, bro, what is happening this game? This is just wild. I'm trying to get a lead on this guy and he's quite literally everywhere, bro. This guy's like Sonic, man, running around the whole bomb site. I'm trying to figure out where he's at. He's got all these little shotgun holes hidden in the walls and stuff. And that guy is, this guy is scary to play against. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I might be up 2-0, but this guy, man, he's got some strats I ain't never seen before. I've been playing this game for seven years, never seen anything like it. And that's not a bad thing. I just never seen anything like it. All right. So let's. Pretty God that he actually went aviator this time for his own sake. Uh, kitchen is not the site. I'm not sure why he went there twice, but he decided to go kitchen twice. So that is interesting to me. And he's not AV again. All right. Let's at least hope that he went trophy for his own sake. He didn't go trophy. Okay. So he's back to kitchen. Wow. That is interesting. Your drone has found a this bomb. is interesting. Alibi with the shield this time. Okay, so if he wants rotates, it's going to be slow to make. So I could probably just rush site. And he'll either be shotgunning rotates or he won't have any. Either way, I can take advantage of it. I just need to hope that he's not playing aggressive on the map, on the side of the map that I'm going to push. I'm just going straight in. You have located a bomb. Wow. Okay. Um, I kind of smoked him. <laughs> that was a nice try by him. I quite literally just walked in and started planning. <laughs> like, I just walked in and started planning. You can't make that up. I mean, he's not gonna have rotate. So, like, if he's playing in kitchen, he's kind of screwed. Um, let's see. Who do we want to play? Should I get a little bit aggressive? Maybe I should. Let's play Ella for the one time with the SMG. Cause all my viewers in my comments on my gameplay videos are like, yo, we didn't get to play Ella again. Like I'm seeing as some like godlike Ella player. Dude, I'm so bad at Ella. Protect the bomb. I used to be good at Ella because I played nothing but Ella because it was like a trend on my channel for a little bit. But, like people loved seeing me play Ella cause I could control her recoil like perfectly. Like relatively. But since I don't play her anymore, I just suck with her. Like I guess it's not that bad. So I'm gonna assume Ten seconds that he insertion. will push study bout. Actually, you know Down what? Five seconds. I was gonna do a run out, but I'm not going to. Bomb location secure. It's gonna be up here on this one, though. At least spawned outside there.
Come on, bro. Running away. He's probably gonna go in downstairs. I'm not sure what he's doing. Oh, he went 90 window? He might go front there. Oh, he ripped out a 90. He's in, he's in B then. Oh my goodness. That is why I'm not the yellow player anymore. Aim is so bad at this gun, I might be better off with a pistol. Let's go, GG's. Yeah, I told you guys, my aim is atrocious with that gun. I didn't listen to my own rule and tap fire. You're supposed to tap fire like you're playing Valorant. I didn't do that. So that was my downfall there. All right. Let's talk about this guy's rank though. My guess is he's probably pretty low rank, probably in the silver to gold range. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and guess he's silver too. Just because one of the other players today were silver too. And um, I'm guessing it purely because of that, because I thought that player would be gold to plat and said he was silver. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess this player is silver too. Wouldn't surprise me if he was gold. Um, it would, however, surprise me if he was anything higher than like gold rank or even gold too. So let's go hop in the Discord and see what he has to say. Hey, man. What's up? How you doing, bro? GG's. Great, I'm doing good. So <laughs> GG's though, yeah? Yeah, GG's. So I was <laughs> guessing that your rank was probably uh, Silver 2. Am I close? Um, I'm not even rank 50. What do you mean? I'm you ranked, level I'm level 38. Oh, so you're not ranked at all. No, I just got the game like last week. Oh, okay. Got you, got you. Mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. um, that kind of like surprises me to be honest. <laughs> I mean, do you have any like prior FPS uh, knowledge or like have you ever played other FPS games on PC? Uh, mostly just COD. Okay. But I play Apex too a little bit. All right. Are you pretty good at those games? COD, I'm I'm, I'm decent. Yeah, I'm at like a two or three KD in Warzone. Nice, very nice. What's your rank in Apex? Or do you not play ranked? I don't play ranked. That, that's just cash. Yeah, no, I feel that. I do the same. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun ranked at all. Yeah. <laughs> but All right, man. Well, uh, GG's. I appreciate you playing, man. Um, yeah, I appreciate it for sure. Getting a little bit of some Oregon action going. Once again, starting on attack. Nothing new. Always on attack, even in ranked. Or it's like actually a curse with me. I only ever start on attack, bro. It, it's, it's actually kind of miserable. Like, I've only started on attack pretty much this entire game. Like, the past seven years of me playing this game. Miserable. Uh, no ban. I am gonna ban. And I'm gonna ban probably Jackal. Um, let's see. Capkin. Capkin as always. Capkin and Ella are really annoying. Wish I could ban two operators. If I could, I'd ban probably Ella. Ella and Capkin. Man. All right. Well, he didn't ban anyone on attack, but he did get Malusi out of play for defense. But that actually doesn't matter that much. You know what? That probably hurts him more than it hurts me, only because now I don't have to worry about Capkin traps or Banshees. And I'm starting an attack. So I've got the next three rounds to like really, really capitalize on that. Try to get myself ahead and then uh, snag out a, a little defense round from, from underneath him. Oh, he's not upstairs. Probably downstairs. I don't hear him over here, so he's most certainly downstairs. So the question is, how do I want to attack this? So far, freezer looks pretty empty. Ah, uh, he's Ella. I'm low-key thinking freezer, man. 
on the location. I think I go fast freezer. I don't even think I shoot default cam. So long as it's not on it and doesn't see me. Drones. I was actually hoping he's playing in here so I could just nade him. Ah, bro, this little rat. Now I don't want to push for you. You have located a bomb. He's got an auto shotty. Damn it. That's why I hate Ella, bro. <laughs> I was I was hoping he had the SMG. Oh no. I was hoping he had the SMG. Damn it. Okay. That's gonna that's gonna completely change my playstyle then. I'm bringing out the Yosa. I need to protect myself from the Ella shotgun. Damn it, dude. Ella Shotty is so strong in 1BXs, man. Or like 1B1s. I guess I could have naded him. Probably should have used my utility a little bit better and drone before I pushed. I was just hoping I heard him start walking towards the rotate insight. I was assuming that he was assuming that I was going to push into uh, site and try to plant beta plant at least. And I think he was, but then he heard me pushing hall. So he turned around. So in theory, he should be back. There's pretty See if I can hide a drone in here. Be better to hide it over here actually. Insertion in five seconds. You know what I oh never mind. I don't have nades anymore. He, I was like, you know what I could do? I could go underneath and nade him. Don't have nades anymore. That's a shame. What I am gonna do is walk around with the shield in front of my face. I said no shields. Technically Rosa is legal. Oh, what is this? Let me vault, let me vault. This site sucks to push against an Ella shotgun because it's just like a doorway you have to push basically the entire time. You like funneling yourself into a bad spot. Oh, he's not Ella shotgun, okay. Watch this. He's gonna try to see for me. You can't kill me. Ah, 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 ah. This operator is overpowered. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. You can't see for an Osa when she's holding the shield. It's it's literally so broken. It just doesn't do any damage. All right, back on Osa. Even though he's not bringing Ella Shotty, I still want to bring Osa. Uh, Cause he wasn't playing in a position where I could really easily nade him. So I'm not going to try to risk that again. Now I am expecting him to bring the Ella Shotty back out. Cause it worked the one time. So he's probably thinking, well, if it worked then, it'll probably work again. Especially since uh, not bringing it didn't work. Oh, he actually switched the site up. Okay, cool. Where's he going to go? Meeting? Meeting or dining? Let's see. He went dining. Never mind. It's also, I'm stuck. I literally can't move. It's also, oh, I find interesting. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location right. and defuse it. Where are you at, buddy? Maybe I can't brute force my way in here.
Is he stuck in there? Oh my god, he is. This is beautiful. That is amazing. He put himself in a bad position. My aim was bad, not to mention. That was getting a little bit risky. That was a uh, arm shot warrior right there. Nah, what he did wrong there was he just put himself in a bad position. I understand what he was trying to go for. And if I played a little bit more lazily and I didn't drone as well, uh, that probably would have worked out for him. But since I did, it didn't quite work out so well. I am actually going to bring my own auto shoddy. I've had enough. I've had enough of all of these shenanigans. All of these hella the shotgun warriors. Let me show them something about this bass. Everybody's sleeping on uh, Thunderbird shotgun, let me tell you. Go watch some of my news gameplay videos. Check them out. Show the power of the Thunderbird shoddy. Honestly, I should have brought impacts or a C4 instead of impacts since I have a shotgun that rotates. We won't talk about it. Alright, speed that up. Five seconds and counting. Get a drone somewhere in here. Op four has located a bomb. Wouldn't be surprised if he rushes. He doesn't know that I have a shotgun. <laughs> so if he got on that drone right there, I think I was behind it, so he wouldn't have even seen me. So I was really hoping he would get on drone and be like, oh, it's clear. <laughs> Let's go laundry. I would like to go Mira. I'm going to uh secure the bombs. Put a mirror here. I'm gonna put a mirror here. And then I'm going to double barricade front, barricade the back. And then I'll just play aggro on this door if I need to. My guess is he'll probably push front. But what I can do is I actually don't even have to play that mirror. Uh, that's, it's, that's actually funny. I can place that mirror freezer and then just not play it. I can actually just play closet instead. And the mirror alone will be enough pressure that he can't push. He won't push freezer. If he does, the low rank. High rank would not push freezer if they saw that mirror. At least not solo. So what I can do is I can literally play right here. And then just like wait to see what he does. So I'll stand right here. I forgot to barricade. Could have bomb B's pushing the back. It barricaded all for that reason though. Wow, nice shot. That audio is a bit weird. I was like, oh. I meant to say nice shot, not GG. Um, I, I thought that he was front. I didn't know that the audio was coming from there. So that just didn't work out for me quite as well as I wanted it to. I actually am confident in the strategy though. My setup was too slow was the problem. I looked at that wall and I was like, you know what? I need to reinforce those two walls because if I don't, he's going to take advantage of that. I didn't reinforce them and he took advantage of it. So I simply need to be faster 
my sight set up. That's all. I'm going to do everything I just did, but faster. Making these rotates. I hope. Even that was just faster, though. So we're on a, we're on a good track. I'm gonna let him drone me. I just want to get this done. Alright. He won't be doing that again. He likely will still push backside though. Just because the mirrors are a little bit um, aids to push. But that's actually good because like it shows that I have a weakness backside but it's also looking a strength for me because it's uh it, it funnels them into pushing one direction you know what i mean like he's probably not going to want to push the mirror window freezer or the mirror window front if he does it's an easy round for me if he doesn't then i know he has one place to come from well, that is not good especially with this client side debris Okay, he played that slightly differently than I thought. Right when that nade blew up right there, I thought he was going to be deep in sight, but he was still crouched. That is not how I expected um, that round to go right there. I thought he was going to nade and then run in on the nade. That's why I fell off the mirror because I shot on a hole and I knew he was going to take advantage of that and try to nade it. Um, now, this guy seems to have like pretty decent knowledge of the game. Like knowing to nade that little hole and then push in on that that's pretty smart that's not something you see from like a silver player or a gold player so i'm gonna say that this guy's probably at least uh plat i'm trying to think about everything that he did i want to say that he's definitely plat i'm not even gonna, i'm not even gonna give a range he's plat i'm gonna go ahead and say he's plat too that's my guess so let's head over to the discord and and, and ask him hey man hey, hey, how's it going? going pretty good so uh i guessed that you might be at one plat like one most. That close? The highest I've ever been is gold four. Wow, I'm, really? I'm consistently silver when I play ranked, yeah. Wow, I was just saying to the recording how I didn't think the plays that you were doing were like uh indicative of like a silver player. Yeah, uh I have a ton of experience in casual, but my ranked experience has been pretty awful. And mm -hmm. the few seasons I have put more than 10 15 games in it's been silvers just stuck silver <laughs> wow okay down in the dredges of ranked but yeah. uh i mean you I played pretty well but my my like i've got like a low plat three in casual i don't know if that counts it doesn't for anything but yeah i wouldn't say it counts for my challenge but i would say that no. if I, I would say if you put in the time you could probably hit plat three in ranked <laughs> like your your plays weren't bad you know, like you made you made decent plays. So yeah, I feel you. like with with time, time, dedication, and effort, you could do it. I can't believe the frag grenade hole worked. Yeah. Okay. So I was gonna reinforce that, and I was like, you know what? Every time I've done one of these videos, no one has ever pushed that. And I heard the nade, and I was like, oh, I think he just naded open the front door, and then uh, <laughs> it just wasn't the front door. So yeah, GG's man. I appreciate you playing. Um, Thank you.